A Georgia elector from Houston County is also reacting to the U.S. Capitol being stormed by rioters. Ashlyn Webb spoke to Fanika Miller today. I am pleased to announce that Joseph R. Biden has received 16 votes for President of the United States. It was less than a month ago that Fanika Miller cast one of Georgia's 16 electoral college votes for President-elect Joe Biden. That was overwhelming. Um, it was extremely humbling, again, um, to be able to, to cast a ballot. From the state capitol, Georgia's votes went up to D.C. for Congress's certification. But that process was interrupted. By people who believed that um, the election was stolen for them, right? Um, from a false narrative, lies that had been propagated from the highest office of the land. The mob stormed the Capitol, forcing the House and Senate to evacuate. The democratic process paused and boxes of electoral college ballots rescued by the Capitol's floor staff. Had it not been for one of the congressional aides or staffers um, who made sure that those um, ballots, uh, the, the, the electoral votes were secure and safe, who knew what would have happened? You saw the destruction that they caused within Congress. Offices destroyed, they were looting, they were, I mean, just chaos all around. Miller says she's proud that in the end, our centuries old democratic process was completed and President-elect Joe Biden certified as the next president of the United States. But from here, she says the nation needs accountability to move forward from what happened Wednesday. The people who caused that insurrection, who were a part of those um, acts of domestic terrorism, need to be held accountable, right? The ones who looted, who, who stormed the Capitol, but also the president and those who incited that mob to do what they did yesterday. Miller says though there was so much bad that came out of Wednesday's attack, the good is that people are opening their eyes. There are more people now who are engaged in the process who are um, hungry for change to happen, um, who are understanding what this work um, um, entails. In Megan Ashland Webb, 13 W Maisie News. Congress finalized Biden's victory just before 4 a.m. this morning, giving 306 votes to President-elect Joe Biden and 232 votes to President Donald Trump.